Right, hello everybody. Um, try it Tuesday. Right, what I'm going to do today is I've got a couple of presents that um, I'm giving as gifts that I've that has been handmade, not by me, by somebody else. And they sort of um, I need to make some bags and decorate them. Okay, well I've made the bags. Um, well, I didn't make them. They could, they were lunch bags. They were like this. Yeah, and I just cut them down. And these come on some of the big bags that I sometimes get that I use the paper. So I keep all these and I think, well, if I ever need them, then I can just stick them, re-stick them on. So I am, so I'm just seeing which one it is. I'm going to do, oh, this one, yeah. Okay, so I've got a load of bits and pieces together because I wanted to make it quick. So, because I haven't got a lot of time, that's all. Because this is Monday and it is after three o'clock. So, and it's supposed to be out tomorrow, but I might have to finish them off tomorrow yet. I'm not sure. Again, I've been running around after Jaden with his meds. They still uh, went to pick it up and they said they haven't got it. And what it is, because he's got a new number, everything is not showing up on the system, on the computer system at the moment. But anyway, it's ordered now and i got to go back in about an hour and he should have it. So, Whew. right. I, what I'm going to do though, because I am going to gesso the bags, so, and gesso the reindeer, I think, yep. and I'm going to distress all the edges of this, so, let's see what else I've got in there. Yep. Oh, don't want to lose that. Okay, so we want to gesso all that. Uh, and that. Okay. Perfect. Right. So I'm a little bit flustered, so you have to excuse me, but um I've got to get this done and I wanna because I can't say what's going in it. That's the only trouble. I'll just have to let you know after Christmas. <laughs> right, um, should we do a roller? Yeah, let's do a roller. I know that's a bit fun, but... you're not going to see much of this it's just the outside but i seem to i just like it because it gives it a bit of strength if you know what i mean Oops. i'm just gonna go in like that This is um, the Tim Holtz die. Okay, it is rather large, so it's ideal for this sort of, these sort of bags and things. So I just got, um, I think it's 300 GSM card and I done cut two and stuck them together, so. I'm not sure whether it's stick though. I have to just do it again before I do it. Okay. I don't want to. I don't want them totally white. You see, I still want to keep some of the sort of rusty, rusticness, rusticness. Is that a word? I don't think so. <laughs> Let's see if we can. 
just get a bit to stick. Um, um, gesso has glue in it, so but it dries really quick. Let's see anything. This one's a little bit. really quick okay okay just a slight dusting so do that bit first by the time I go over it all it's um it's already dry <laughs> amazing stuff There we go. So while the bag and that is drying, we will do the backgrounds. Uh, these come from a pad. I think I showed it ages ago. I've had this a couple of years. It's, uh, it's very. I think it's from the works. It's very cheap, but yeah, it was the works. I cut book and then it was actually it's really nice but like I say I keep forgetting to use it so I thought on this was great um this is back uh, I've got this left over from a blue scrapbook pad that I've had a long a while and I just thought I might as well use that as well so I'm going to distress all the edges I'll show you one and then I'll do the other off screen because just to save a bit of time For my little little one, the Tim Holtz one. I really like that because it's small. Have a little little dig out of there, something.
Okay, right, ink around that now. What have I got? A vintage photo. I've got the oxide here, actually. No preference, really, on inking. I'm going to take that out. Yeah, sort of like, um, I want it sparkly, but still like rustic, if you know what I mean. A bit like my decorations, actually. I wanted it sort of white and all sparkly. But again, just so that I can add a few rustic elements that I like. Because, you know, I've had them bought me and I love them. So I wanted to be able to use it. So these are actually, actually based on my decorations. <laughs> The colour scheme. I mean, you don't have to ink the edges and everything, you know, put glitter on it and that, but I actually wanted it, you know, to blend in nicely with the, the bag, so like I say you don't have to do any of this. Right, let's have a look what we're doing first. Right, now I'll go ahead and do, well, the other bags aren't quite dry yet. I'll go ahead and do the other one, and I'll, then I'll be back. So I've got both of them done then. Right, so everything's dry now. Okay, so we'll get on with layering this up. Okay, so what I'm going to do, um, this is going to be stitched around there. So everything's got to be stitched before it goes on the bag, of course, because you... Um, stitch back together <laughs> um but that's gonna go there i'm gonna have some um of this at the top i think i might put that on now Oop. so i've just filled my bottle up i forgot get so used to squeezing it and then when you fill it up you don't need to <laughs> okay so just put that on there for now okay and then Right, what I'm going to do is not, um, um, let's have a look, just wondering where to put my snowflakes. Yeah, that's going to go underneath. So I've got half snowflake here, which will go sort of under there like that. The ends. Don't need gluing. If they get glued, they get glued, they're dry. So. Like that. This one is going to go over the top, so we're all right there. Okay. Okay, I'm going to stick this down. You have to be careful with this because you see through it, but that um, covers there. So that's why I put a little bit more glue this side because I know the reindeer will cover that.
got some little bits there to stick down so i'm gonna put a little bit of glue um have i got any on here Might have enough. Okay, there, so I'm going to sort of, yeah, roof that up over it. I mean, these look lovely raised if you wanted to, but I've, I've done it double, so double thickness, so it's quite raised anyway. This is where I sort of just dot little bits, okay? And I want to lower this side. Make him look like he's jumping out of the snow. Oh, I'll tell you what I do need though. That's got to go about there. So. I want the fluty end down there so okay let's push that up a little bit Okay, and I want something underneath here actually as well to brighten that up. So, Yeah, I was going to stitch around there, wouldn't I? Can't now. I'll just stitch around the whole thing. Yeah, forgot. <laughs> As you do, got carried away with what I was doing. <laughs> Yep, that's okay, right, and then I thought down here, I've got some alphabet and I thought I'd use joy, so that's going to go sort of there, but I'll stick the alphabet on this first. Um, what do we want? I think we'll have the brown the outside
Am I missing? I am an outside of a Y in brown. Why is that? Why is that? <laughs> That's typical. <laughs> oh, is that one? No. Okay, I'll be back in a mo. Okay, now I stick these together. Okay, I'll just pull it down like that. The glittery paper I done last year. This one inside. Okay. And some of this as well. Should we have a little bit of sparkle coming up? Yeah, let's. <laughs> just a little bit too much I think okay. right. this was um like a lace top. I've had ages actually. It had snowflakes on it. Uh, Christmas top for somebody. And I didn't stitch around at all. So guess what? I'm not going to. I don't think we need to. It's well stuck down. So. Totally forgot. Too interested in what I was doing. <laughs> and I knew what I was doing, so it was handy. Right. Okay. Just gonna trim that down a little bit more. And that is gonna go on the front like that. I mean you can decorate this for few sequins I haven't got any sequins out actually but that would look quite nice I might do that and sometimes it, which looks nice which is an idea of mine when you give a gift don't doesn't matter though because they can cut the bag off they could always use that for a cover for a journal It's around that size. Do you want to come down? No, that's fine. Okay, I'm just gonna squish that in a minute. So I can get it stuck. Come on. 
I'm going to go that way. There we go. It didn't need stitching at all. Okay, let's see if we can find some sequins. Okay, I've got some iridescent ones, so. I was thinking you could put some over here. We've got the snowflake there, though, you know, but you could. Nice spray going up there would look nice, too. All right. Sorry, I had a phone call. Still um, all sorted with my son's meds now. So that was the, the doctor's ringing and, yeah, got it all sorted. Um, right, okay. Um, yeah, I see I've gone in my perfect straight line again, if you know what I mean. That's got to change. <laughs> Let's drop a few down here. These are like iridescent ones. I love them. I know I want something here, but I might have something else there. For, let's have a look. I have one there, I think. Just going to put a little tiny glue underneath there. Okay. Yeah, lovely. I'm not sure what I'm going to put there yet. Actually, I'm going to just carry on with these, I think. Perfect. Okay, now you can cover the back. Okay. And you can also put reinforcement in the bottom. Okay, so I think I'm going to do that. Okay. I've got a piece that will go nicely on there, I think. Shall I leave it? Actually, really, I'm okay with it. I think I just might reinforce the bottom. It's quite heavy what I've got to put in there, so I do need to reinforce the bottom a bit. Let's have a look what measurement that is. I think it's five and a half. Yeah, five and a half. It's by two and a half, so if I do sort of like just under two and a half, it should fit okay. I'll do that, I think. I don't need to do the back. Make sure it fits before I put glue on it. Yeah, because these are only lunch bags, so they're not, they haven't got no re, yeah, that's fine. No reinforcement in the bottom. So. And 
then we can put the tag on. So I'm going to make cut the tags next and put some dangles on. Okay, put that in there. Okay. Okay, right, that was the other one I done. I mean, they're well, identical, really. And that was that one. And these were just plain lunch bags. Okay, now they're gift bags. I might have, I might go and cut some uh, acrylic. I think I've got some white acrylic snowflakes and dangle that. that I think that'll look quite nice. Right. Yes, I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I've done the little dangle. I can't really see it. It's there, just out of clear acry acrylic. But these can be taken off and then you can put them on your tree if you've got a snowy tree. Because I'm going to do some for my tree this year. That's why I kept um, this size. I didn't want to shrink them down much in case the holes got a bit small. But, oh, let's bend in there a little bit there. That's all right. There we go. That's there. And I've just done it. With, oh, God. It so, took, took me ages to find a bit of ribbon. I didn't have any white. Usually I've got loads of white or gowns of ribbon. And that's the other one. Oh, and these are these were made for me by um, Casey Kins Cross. Yeah, I'll link her channel below. Yeah, she made some lovely dangles for me. And they come in really handy for these. So those are done. So I hope, like, hope you like that. Something a little bit different. This Try It Tuesday. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching, and I'll speak to you all very soon. Bye.